Hi, Aries. It's Amethyst Rose here to give you guys an energy check-in. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Aries, when you see this, is when you're meant to see it. Please only take what resonates. Leave the rest. It's collective. The personal reading information is below. All right, that's somebody else's message. If it doesn't hit for you, it's that simple, really. Uh, make sure you go check your other uh, placements, though. Uh, this will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Also, the Amethyst Rose bracelets are back in stock, Aries. They're Amethyst Rose Quartz, Clear Quartz, Black Obsidian, great for blocking and absorbing uh, negative energy, heightening your intuition, feeling the love, okay? Um, the link is below. The candles will be back for sale by the end of next week. Um, make sure you sign up for the newsletter um, so you'll know you'll get the information first. Also, like I mentioned, um, there will be another uh, product added to the shop by the end of the month. So uh, stay tuned. OK, um, very beneficial, of course, like everything else. Um, so we're going to definitely, you know, we're going to keep growing it. We're growing together. OK, Aries. Um, anyway, if you're new here, welcome. And we're going to see what's going on with you, Aries. All right, let's see what spirit has for you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guys, those from the highest white light who walk with me every day. These messages are for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. What messages do you have for them today? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guys, those from the highest white light. What messages do you have for Aries? Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel the messages for Aries. Please block any interference that stops Aries' messages from coming through. Please and thank you. All right, Aries. Okay. I speak with sincerity. Who got that? Scorpio? Okay. Scorpio got that. Maybe uh, you have Scorpio highly aspected or you're dealing with one. And this says, I am trustful in my relationships. Okay. All right. So make sure you are uh, being a trustworthy individual in your doing series. Okay. Or this could be what somebody is telling you. That somebody's true. Like I'm true. I'm telling the truth. I'm not BSing you here. They just coming at you 100. Like with straight facts and figures. Okay. So let's see. <clears throat> this is for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, north node, and Venus. Holy spirit, holy angels, ancestors, spirit gods. Those from the highest white light who walk with me every day. What messages do we have for Aries? What is the message? Aries. Okay, it says whispers of Mother Earth, creativity, ideas, inspiration, artist, writer, writer, channel. Oh, that's beautiful, Aries. Very, very beautiful. And this says, come to me, attracting like a rose, receive abundance, desires. Um... Cancer got that energy. The come to me, I believe, attracting like a rose. So people could be being led your way, Aries. Yeah, somebody, you know. Somebody tr speaks the truth. I mean, that's what it looks like. Um, somebody is like, you know, straight up. Like, or that's how they like things. No chaser. Like... This could actually be what this is. Somebody just cut straight to the chase. Um, somebody is very fruitful is what this. They're full of ideas. They're very creative. They're inspiring, okay? Um, they're, that you could be an artist of some kind, Aries. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're a poet or singer, songwriter. Uh, yeah, it says artist, writer. Um, or maybe that's something that you're going to do. Um, maybe you're an author. Um, and channel somebody definitely um, they're a channel they're, they, they, they they yeah okay um, so uh, yeah attract them like a rose receive abundance desires so I mean Aries it looks like 
as long as you stay upright, anything you touch is going to turn to gold. Like, your abundance is in your realness. And that's just all that it is to it. People trust you, okay? With the I am trustful in my relationships, people trust you. Uh, look how on this card, these, wow. But look how th these two people, it's like having like minds, okay? So I don't know, maybe you're going to be linking up with somebody, but these people look, it's like this is, it's like they're the same person though. They have the same mind, but they're so different. And so that could be what it is, Aries. You're different. You, uh, you know, you're, you, it, it actually ties into your one of one reading that I did for you guys uh, last, what, Thursday? If you're new here, you can go watch it. But it's like somebody, they're different, but they're relatable. Um, you connect. Um, somebody could connect with other people, okay? Through whatever this is that you do. Your creativity. Um, yeah, something that you create. You got justice, first card out. All right, two of cups, temperance. So that's a partnership here, okay? Um, it looks like something is right on time, okay? Uh, let's get into it. Maybe this is with a Libra, okay? Could be with a Sagittarius. The three of wands just flipped out in the reverse. So I'm going to leave it that way. King of wands, seven of wands. Uh, you could have somebody blocked at this time, six of wands, whoever this uh, fire sign masculine is. Or this could be... Um, a cancer for some people or you're just you're not you're you're not very welcoming to somebody you're not whatever this is you're not like come on in anymore okay uh seven of pentacles yeah um and so you're just protecting you protecting your investments is what this looks like um for some people they could there could be a partnership here so you could be protecting that if you are connecting with someone at this time something does have the potential to go long term aries okay um or you're getting this partnership because you're well invested into something okay uh you got the two of pentacles here with the ace of cups wow so it looks like there could have been someone here um juggling you whoever this it's an air sign here it could be a gemini um but it looks like uh somebody here could have been lying to you okay or lying to you about something okay this could be about a project an investment or something like that okay this could be a partner of yours like platonically like just friends type of thing so something's going on with that so somebody isn't like all like you know mm -mm. somebody's just not trying to hear it is what this is giving me you have the food car here and you have the four of cups yeah so somebody is taking a leap of faith in a new direction okay um there's a ram in the bush here okay aries yeah something just has to close up it just has to okay it's time you put too much money into something or you you are you're putting too much money too much time too much something if something isn't paying off for you aries if you don't see a return on whatever this is you need to sit it down or this is this person this is what they're doing i don't know maybe you're the third party i mean the three of wands is in the reverse but maybe it's like something where you're just on the outskirts looking in or on the, you're just maybe this person wanted you to put in your two cents you have the magician here um, to whatever this loss is. Yeah, because somebody manipulated somebody here. All right. Yeah. You have the emperor here. Yeah, this could be somebody's boss. But Aries, you're showing up very well. But somebody here or somebody who was supposed to be. This could be just like an older person. Uh, someone who's, who's more seasoned in the game type of thing. But somebody just wanted to hem you up, trap you in some way. That's all. That's it. All right, let's see what this is. I don't know what this is, Aries, but you're the one with the you're the one with the mind, though. That's that's what they're telling you. So yeah, you got the Seven of Cups here. Okay, so whatever this justice is or this leap of faith that you're gonna be doing, Aries, uh, I don't know who's doing it. Put everybody where they go, but this could be confusing. Okay, somebody doesn't know where they're headed next or how they're gonna get there. Um, yeah, like after this partnership or in this partnership, it's like um, somebody could have been holding back something from somebody. 
um, a piece of information or something, or somebody just didn't do their research. Uh, somebody kind of got into bed with something that they didn't have, really have a lot of knowledge on, is what this this tells me, or it, it's given. It's really given, okay? Um, yeah, you got the five of wands. Something could be a competitive lane, or this person likes to compete with you, Aries, okay? Um, this could be a cancer, masculine, okay? Um, somebody could have Scorpio highly aspected, uh, but it's it's like somebody loves to compete with you, fight with you, fuss with you, bicker with you. They look they may fuss about money, they may fuss about expenses, they may fuss about something, some reoccurring bills or something like that. It's something going on, um, Aries. So you may be feeling conflicted on what to do next. Maybe you feel at a loss or this person does. Now, this could be for some people. This could be somebody who puts you in competition with a third party um, that they're no longer with. This person is non-existent now. It looks like they may be blocked or something like that. Um, somebody wanted to control a situation here. So they put you in competition with somebody, wasting your time. Um, you really thought, you know, this was what you had manifested and it ended up to be just... nothing all right you got the nine of wands but this is a repeated cycle somebody always fails on this part of the test is what it looks like to me like every lifetime yeah somebody listen to the lies or they always take this person back whoever this is for some people this could be an aries somebody keeps doing the same thing over and over and over again juggling or wasting time or competing just real petty somebody petty and childish whoever this person is this could be a leo for some people i'm t like i don't know what this is aries i mean i'm just saying or this taurus i mean i don't know who you deal with uh the number 77 could be significant Or the number seven in general. Okay. You're going to get justice for whatever this is though, Aries. It, it appears that somebody could have put spell work on you. They did something. They did something to try to box you in, hang you up, keep you in this cycle, keep you struggling month to month. They did this for months. Somebody kept you in suspense about some money. It's like they do it month to month, though. Mm hmm Yeah. Whoever this person is, this emperor energy. Yeah. But you're going to get justice for whatever that is. Because the three of wands is waiting on something. Um... And or something coming in, the three of wands is in reverse, so that means that it has arrived, okay, and or and something is going away. All right, let's get into it. Let me get one on the justice card, please. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Aries, you're just a better investment than this person. Like, so I mean, just let's come back up to the surface, you know, for a minute. Um. So, it's like if somebody here, just say, you know how people be like, oh, you know, it's when it, when changes need to be made, like in management or something. That usually means that something is wrong in the business, right? It's the same thing, like, kind of in the physical world in general. So, you know how some people, you know, if somebody served their purpose, like their work there is done, they're done. They've completed their task or they're just not needed, whichever one. You're the better investment to keep around. So if it's like if somebody had to be or someone or something had to be sacrificed, um, you sacrifice a lot of time, money, energy, blood, sweat, tears um, for whatever this is. But the thing is, you're the one that can actually give something back to people. You're the better investment. So the universe is like, who are we going to keep? Let's keep Aries. Okay. Uh, justice please for Aries let's not keep this other person who played too many games Aries is busy this person keep playing with the person that we need to bring forth this stuff that's they don't understand somebody doesn't understand something Aries 
They keep doing it. I want to play a game with Aries. Clear as day. Petty. Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, Two of Two of Pentacles, Five of Wands. And they're going to lose every time. Four of Cups. But they're not tired of losing because they're delusional. Seven of Cups. This person brain may be messed off because of the spell word. Seven of Cups, the Magician. They, I'm telling you, the fool card. They just jump and do so. Oh, I feel some kind of way about Aries. Let me mix all this stuff up, and I'm just on. Or let me wish bad on them. Let me say it three times. What is this? I mean, it's just it's crazy. But the thing is, though, that this person and and everybody has a sole purpose, but somebody is doing absolutely nothing. I mean, they're doing absolutely nothing at all. They real petty. Real petty. Real manipulative. They do the same thing over and over and over again. This come to me spell or whatever they be doing. Somebody plays with something. Okay? But anywho, let me get to this justice card. This channeling getting a little... Why is the justice card here? I just seen the three of pentacles. Somebody could have been working with somebody else. Or listen to somebody else. Bad counsel. Bad advice. I just seen the Ace of Pentacles. Look at it. Seven of Cups with the Four of Wands. Yep. Mm -hmm, the Moon. Alright. Bet. So somebody doing a little kitchen magic or something. They doing something that just is for beginners. Because they want y'all to be together. Aries. Or this is this person. Maybe this is what somebody else. You could be the third party to whatever this is. Alright. But something's coming to the surface here. So whatever this is. Uh, let me get one for the food. Or somebody just wants you up out of here, Aries, in general. Because you're messing up what they got going on with this person that they want. You in the way. Every time Aries, they talk to you, they want to change their mind. On They don't like it that every time that they person come to you and talk to you and just have a... They come to your house and y'all chit-chatting or whatever the case may be. They don't like it how this person comes back with new ideas and they feel inspired or they they get something from you or you done told them some real trill stuff right here and it makes you want to just level up and receive all the abundance that's coming. This card right here say receive. The receive card in the reverse, uh, Aries. They don't want, they, somebody's like, you're not welcome here. But guess what, Aries? <laughs> I've already said it. You're the better investment. You're the better investment. So that is what this is. All right, let's go ahead and move on. All right, let me get one for the fool. So if somebody's being eliminated, it's not you, the fool. Seven of, look at that, look at that. Seven of swords, two of wands, four, they made themselves sick. Somebody could be having mental illness here. Whoever this is, yeah, this fool energy. This could be an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Aries, another Aries. Whoever this is, somebody just keeps trying something and keeps failing. I'm telling you, against one person. So, it's like, it just, it, it, it appears you may be stronger than all these people. Or if it's multiple people, I don't know. This could be multiple people, though. I mean, okay, Aries. All right, let me get one on the Magician. Honey, honey. Why is the magician here? What's the message? Aries. You're the magician. The real magician. The successful one. That's you. Somebody, you're bound to be seen. You're bound to be successful. You're bound to have your accolades. You're bound to have your wish fulfillment. Yes, because somebody is just... All the things that a petty, cruel person is not. Somebody is everything that this person is not. That is why this is happening. Somebody is like, I, I keep hearing useless and I keep not seeing it because I feel like that's rude. Okay? But that's what I keep hearing. They're just here to be here. To say stuff, to lie, to scheme, to whatever. I mean, this is just... this. Somebody just wants that all they do is run off on the plug. 
borrow from Peter to pay Paul. Hey, let me get this. Hey, like it's like somebody don't know. They change their mind back and forth, back and forth. Somebody really has like a, a, a um um they're not right. Their emotions aren't right. Their mind isn't right. Something isn't right here. Yeah, but it, it appears you're the real magician, Aries. That's what it appears. Give me one on the emperor. Mm. But they do this every... They're going to keep doing it. It looks like the emperor. Just be aware. The four, the four of pentacles with the page of swords. And... I'm telling you, it's like somebody, they don't want you to have anything. It looks like this person may want you just to struggle, but you always going to come out on top. Somebody has the jewels. Somebody doesn't tell everything they know. Somebody is going to hold their position, and that's just is what it is. The emperor with the four pentacles. Somebody is stable here. They sit on a solid foundation. Something can have something to do with somebody's father or their grandfather. Okay, but somebody is, is watching over you or you're watching over somebody or you're meant to be the person you're meant. Okay, you're you're meant to have something here. Okay, um, something is a, you got a reading like that. Aries, I think that's the same reading that started off with the justice card. It, the reading is called the shock and awe effect. Oh, what a sight to see. That's what this is. Somebody doesn't want you to be seen. They probably keep doing something. Something can have something to do with your money, uh, your numbers, or something like that of the sort. Just somebody, it just, you popping stuff, Aries. And it's, it's really just because you're creative. You come up, you you don't bite off somebody else's style. You don't bite off anybody. Like, you, you will take something and be inspired by it. But you're going to switch it up and make it your own. That's You're not going to do something exactly the way somebody else does it. Or just because somebody is doing it, period. Somebody is a real boss here. They are they, they write their own everything, whatever. And somebody just does not, does not like that. But somebody is very prayerful here at the same time. So it's kind of like, how do you, how do you defeat that kind of energy? You know, somebody striped up here. You're showing up as the emperor. I mean, take it how it resonates, feminine or masculine. Somebody is just that person. They big stuff by themselves. Um, let me get one on why this three of wands is reversed. Why is the three of wands reversed? Queen of wands. So this has literally has something to do. Because like I said, three of wands is somebody coming in or you're waiting on something. They're going to be waiting for a long time. It ain't going to happen, Aries. And they still don't get it. You're meant to shine. You're meant to be beautiful. You're meant to be handsome. Okay? People are going to hate you. They hate you for what you stand for. But you have forces fighting for you. They, this person going to get their tail beat too. They keep playing with you. Or they already are this person. All right. Aries, I don't know who this person is. All right. I don't know. I don't know. They do it over and over again. So they just letting you know. If you in a cycle too, like Aries, make sure you watching your finances too. Um, somebody does the same thing kind of repeatedly. Um... Um, with their investments or they keep investing in something that's not paying off something is just not paying off it kind of just balances out or it's still like something is you spend a lot of money say you spend you spend two thousand and then you know maybe you you know get back uh it, it, you just you at a loss but you I don't know, Aries. I'm trying to explain it in a way where it makes it. It's like, this gives me like the idea of like gambling. Like you spend a lot, you get a big win, but by the time the win come in, you've already spent so much, you still not up one. Somebody keeps themselves in the same cycle here. Okay. But Aries, whatever this is, 
I wouldn't worry with whatever this is. It's clear as day. Somebody gonna get their tail beat fooling with you. Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Four of Swords. You are protected. Um, like I said, something gonna have something to do with um, you know, this this emperor energy here. Okay, somebody's father or grandfather or something like that. Yeah. So don't worry about this. Somebody just speaks, they speak the truth. So this is why people don't like them or, or this is you. Wow, Aries. <laughs> uh, you uniquely, I can't even talk. Uniquely myself. Okay. Uh, the number 32 could be significant. Um, Aries, this puts me in the mind, uh, like I said, of the one of one reading um this came out in that reading as well so that's a double uh confirmation for you uh maybe go check it out it's called one of one i did it on thursday last week it says i trust that who i am is perfect for my unique journey and soul path it would never work because this is what somebody is meant to be doing like whatever it is that you do whatever it is that people don't want you to do or succeed in doing aries you know what you're meant to be doing. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And this is shining bright. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Aries, you're meant to shine. Like I just said, shining bright. Number 18 could be significant as well as the number nine. This says shining bright. I shine my light and allow my creative power to burn bright somebody is just who they are but you are protected aries it's okay it could be one against many one against thousands one against whoever it just no you're meant to be great so just be great all right that is your reading let me pull one of these aries uh i've forgotten at least on two or three readings too but I guess it wasn't meant for them. It, was, it wasn't called for. But while I remembered it, let me get one of these. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, Venus. What do you need to release? Waning Moon. Somebody got this. Um, what do you need to release? Waning Moon. Something. The moon, the moon is waning right now, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's waning right now. I didn't check. Um, but this says, uh, the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and Capricorn. A couple of people got this card today. Um, I believe it was, uh, Sagittarius and I just finished to, uh, I believe, uh, either Aquarius or Pisces got this card, um, as well. But anyway, release what you need to release. If it's something, someone, a business, a manager, if you need to fire somebody, do that. If you got representation and they just, you know, just be like, you know what? I quit, whatever. I mean, I don't know what you're going to say. Don't quit your job, Aries. You know, you know, you know your situation and you know if that uh, resonates with you or not. All right. You just know when it's time to let something go because somebody keeps doing something repeatedly. They ain't going to change. Ain't no death court out here. Ain't nothing out here for real. Uh, the only major arcana we have is the fool, the magician, and the emperor. That's it. And the justice card. So you're going to continue to get justice for whatever this is. And this person going to keep jumping stupid. And they're going to just, I'm telling you, that reading, like I said, the shock and awe effect. What a sight to see. It talked about somebody being sick. All right, whoever this person is, I don't know. Could be an Aquarius. Go watch Aquarius read. I don't know. Anyway, Aquarius, that's your reading. <laughs> Not Aquarius. A Aries. Ooh. I guess that was confirmation. Uh, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.